I am sorted for this video. <laughs> Said I probably wouldn't film another video in this room, but here we are. It's not sunny today, so I have a feeling I'm gonna find this a little bit better because the lighting isn't gonna keep changing. So we've got positivity today. <laughs> anyway, hi, it's Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing my 15 spring outfit ideas today. Hello, this is future Charlotte. I'm watching my footage back and genuinely, completely genuinely, I thought I'd filmed 15 outfits. Turns out I only filmed 13. <laughs> I don't even know how I did that. I think when I was trying on loads of outfits, I kind of just got, like by the end of it, I was like dead. And I think I just convinced myself that I'd done all 15 outfits, but I didn't. So yeah, this is actually gonna be 13 spring outfit ideas, not 15. And yeah, I hope you still enjoy the video. And it was originally 30 and then it was 20 and now it's 15. And I don't ask me why, um, but if I do another one of these videos, that's why, because it ended up being like half the amount that I was planning to do. I mean, it's still a little bit of inspiration. So yeah, if you'd like to see that, then please carry on watching. I am not going to be holding up all the clothing pieces. If it wasn't obvious by me sat in a blanket with a cup of tea, I just kind of thought, I'll just talk you through them. So actually what I think I will do, there we go, you have a beautiful view of a random part of my living room now but I will put the try on clips to the side of me whilst I talk about them I don't think I've done any kind of video like this before have I I don't think so where I've done like styling outfit ideas so that's what we're doing today I'm not with it I'm literally just so tired and all I want to do is drink tea and like watch movies basically so the first outfit is quite simple I've, I, I can't say that actually there's so, there's so many of these outfits that are quite simple Anyway, it is, and it's this black eraser, which I actually got in a set of two from Monkey, and I got these on ASOS quite recently, with a pair of like light blue balloon jeans, which I got from Topshop last year, but again, you can probably get these anywhere. I really like these. These balloon jeans are a little bit big on me. I got these from Topshop, and I got literally the smaller size, and they're still a little bit big, but I kept them anyway because I really like the style of them. And then I paired these with a pair of black, um, slightly heeled sandals. I just love this. Like, I don't often wear black with denim. I quite often gravitate towards putting like nudes and whites with denim. So I really, really like this outfit. I think it's quite cute. You can easily throw like a cardigan or a jumper on top with this outfit. And really simple. You can obviously switch out the black racer for a white racer and a pair of white sandals. Very interchangeable. Um, but I just think the balloon jeans are kind of the highlight of this outfit. <laughs> Next outfit is, oh my god, I feel like I've, I might as well have named this video trying to style all my jeans, because I think I have basically styled all my jeans in these outfits. So I've got this beige like knit button sweater, which I got from ASOS. It was in the sale, so I don't know if this will still be available. It is quite a simple basic knit that you probably could find something quite similar. And then I've got my H&M light blue flare jeans. I love these. These are probably my favourite jeans at the moment. They are quite tight. I don't know why I'm getting into the sizing of all my jeans, but I thought I would. They are quite tight, but not in a bad way. Do you know what I mean? Like, these are probably my most, my tightest jeans around my waist, but I feel like it's kind of necessary for flare jeans because they're flaring out so much, you kind of need it to be cinched in at the waist. But oh my god, I'm obsessed with them. And then I've got these cream little kitten heels from Zara on as well. And I just think any outfit with flare jeans just is immediately cute. So I absolutely love this outfit. Next outfit is obviously for if it's a little bit warmer because we've got a skirt out. But it's this brown bodysuit from Zara, which I got last autumn, I think. And then I also got this beige pleated skirt from, I want to say it's weekday. I can't remember exactly. But I remember I was just on the hunt for a beige pleated skirt. And honestly, I just thought this was perfect and exactly what I was looking for. I think it's really, really cute. And then I've also got these cream flats from Topshop and my little brown um, shoulder bag from ASOS, which is a nice little like designer dupe, I think. It kind of gives me like Gucci Prada vibes. So I do really like that. This is a bit more on your nudes brown side if you're more into that than monochrome basically <laughs> oh my god oh, this next outfit i bought this 
I don't know what colour you call this. It's kind of like a yellowy cream. Eat cream? Kind of a little bit more on the yellowy side though. It's like a yellowy neutral suit or two piece. I bought this from Topshop last summer in like the first lockdown and I've just been dying to wear it. I really hope that I get the chance to wear it this spring or summer because honestly, I haven't been able to wear it yet. It's still got the tags in, but I still love it. Thankfully, I still love it a year later on, but yeah. And then I just paired this with a white racer back, which I also got from Topshop. And again, the cream kitten heels from Zara. I just honestly, with a tan, I think this co order will just look beautiful and I just can't wait to wear it. It's just, I think it's the only like suit or, yeah, suit, I guess. I don't really call it a suit. What do you call it? But I think it's like the only blazer and trouser co order that I actually own um, because it's not something that I'd wear often, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really sorry, by the way, I just turned my brightness up because it just got super dark suddenly and apparently. I don't know what I'm doing with lighting once again. Yeah, I've just turned the brightness up. Anyway, for this next outfit, I it's a little bit more on the fun side. It's not exactly the most flattering outfit, if that makes any sense. First, I've got this sheer polka dot shirt from ASOS, which I'm in love with. You can't really wear it by itself because it is sheer, so you kind of have to wear either a bralette underneath or like I'm doing here, I've put on this cream knit vest from Zara on top. And then I've got this white pleated skirt from, it's from ASOS, but I think it's Bershka. And then I've got my black loafers on from Zara. So it's a little bit of a, I don't know. Yeah, I just think it's quite a cute outfit. Next outfit is this beautiful black shirt dress that I bought from Zara recently. I've paired it with this black shoulder bag from Monkey and again, my black Zara loafers. This shirt dress is just so flattering. It just cinches in in the exact, the right place basically. And I just feel like I've been looking like for a dress like this for quite a long time. So I just feel like it's perfect and I needed some more black dresses in my wardrobe and oh have I found a lot of black dresses recently um but yeah I absolutely love this next we have a mom jeans outfit which I absolutely love my Zara mom jeans so they're from Zara I've also got my cream flats from Topshop again and then I've got this beige cropped knit from and other stories which I bought recently and it was in the sale I just couldn't believe it was in the sale because it was just so beautiful. So I just absolutely had to keep it. And I honestly think you could put any any beige top with this outfit. You don't necessarily need to put this one with it. You could just put like a basic long sleeve with it or whatever. But yeah, again, quite like a nice basic outfit. I think this thing's outfit is possibly my favourite outfit. I didn't think it would be, but it, it kind of is and I kind of want to wear it out immediately as soon as we have a heat wave i will be wearing this outfit first i've got this knit bralette from asos which is so so cute and again it's something i haven't worn out because we've been in lockdown so it's something i've been waiting to wear and then i've got my zara white shirt on top of that with these gray flare trousers from asos which honestly are the gray flare trousers of my dreams i absolutely love them so much and then I've got on my black sandals from, I don't think I actually said where they were from. They're from H&M, by the way. And then I've also got my beige quilted bag from Shein. Please bury me in this outfit because I absolutely loved it. And when I looked back at my clips, I was like, that's a cute outfit. Do you know what I mean? This next outfit, I kind of felt like, I don't know, Sandy at the start of the movie. Very, very white. <laughs> um, so first I've got this white knitted, beautiful long sleeve kind of like top slash cardi and this is from brandy melville it's from brandy melville um i did a brandy melville haul last year and it was one of the pieces that i kept and it's just beautiful i've also got this white satin skirt from and other stories another love of mine again with these cream kitten heels from zara this outfit is just cute like it's the kind of outfit i feel like on a lovely sunny day in paris you'd walk around in i knew i had to put at least one full cream or white outfit in this video and so that is it <laughs> next outfit is probably i feel like the best day-to-day -day outfit in this video I literally could just see myself wearing this every single day first i have this kind of like beigey oversized t-shirt from asos which I wasn't sure whether to keep or not, but I'm so glad I kept it because I just love the tone of it. It's a bit more of like an olivey beige, 
but I absolutely love it, it's so cute. And then I've got my cream straight leg Levi's on with that. And again, my cream kitten heels from Zara. I've also got the black bag from Monkey again. I just think this is the best day to day, running to the shops, going out for a little walk outfit. Do you know what I mean? And I just love it so much. Next outfit, again, I was very surprised by how much I liked this outfit. And I've got the cream kitten heels on again from Zara. But this time I've got on my dad jeans, which again, is quite a new pair of jeans for me. I got these from ASOS and I'm just obsessed with these. I know a lot of people who've been wearing dad jeans have been wearing them quite long, as in like the really, really baggy ones. But I so much more prefer this, where they're a little bit, not cropped, they're still quite long but they kind of are a bit more cropped compared to most people's dad jeans. I also really like the colour of these because I feel like they're a bit more of like a bluey denim, if that makes sense. Compared to all my other jeans, which are a bit more faded blue, like this is like a blue blue, which I did really quite like to have like a different colour denim in my wardrobe. And then I've also got this black satin shirt from Zara, which is long sleeve, but the look I was going for was a short sleeve shirt. So I literally just rolled them up and they stayed like at my, I don't know what you call it. When I rolled the satin shirt up, it just stayed, which I was really happy about. Cause I was starting to think to myself that I needed to buy a short sleeve black shirt, but turns out I can just roll this one up, which is very convenient. <laughs> the next look, I like to call this Mrs. Chandler Bing, probably just because of this knit vest. Why is this knit vest just, looks like what Chandler would wear. <laughs> I've got my Zara white shirt on and the knit vest is from H&M. Again, it was something I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep or not because I was like, it's green. Like it is, it's green. Because it is such a neutral olivey green, I, I did, I kept it. Um, but I am kind of glad I did. And then I've got these white trousers or cream trousers from Zara. And again, the kitten heels from Zara. This is definitely more work vibes or yeah, work vibes, <laughs> but make it chic, you know? So I do think this is really, really cute. Oh, we're onto the final outfit. Wow, I've got through those quite quickly, I feel like. I feel like I already said I had a favorite outfit. It might tie with this outfit. This is also a favorite outfit. I found the beige blazer of my dreams. I am, apart from that yellow, suit two piece apart from that i didn't have like a plain non-leather blazer so i've got leather blazers i've got patterned non-leather blazers but what my wardrobe was really lacking was a black and a beige blazer i'm still lacking a black blazer however i just couldn't find the perfect one i can't tell you how many i've ordered in the past couple of years and i've just never found the perfect one but i ordered this one from zara it is just perfect like the color the fit i was just absolutely obsessed with it so yeah that's from zara and i'm just it's my new baby basically bodysuit was a white halter neck from zara as well and then i've got on my black flare trousers from asos and again the black sandals from h&m but i just love this outfit like the color contrast with the white the black and the nude i'm obsessed and the blazer just literally makes the outfit um, all I need now is a black blazer, which, yeah, if you can recommend, like, the perfect black blazer, I am open to suggestions. But, yeah, that is all of my spring outfits. I really hope you enjoyed that video, and I am sorry if I messed up the lighting in this video. I feel like I said that in the last video that I did here, but, yeah, I tried my very best. But, yeah, that is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you'd like me to do any more videos like this in the future, as it's not something I usually do yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>